The compressor is the heart of a vehicle's air conditioning system. But if you're selling a compressor or a compressor kit, there's another AC component that your customer will need too, and that's a condenser. Let's talk about why that's so important. Starting with the 1995 model year, all new vehicles sold with air conditioners in the United States used the refrigerant R134A. Although the automakers have been shifting to R1234YF since 2012, there are still millions of vehicles out there that use R134A. Starting in the early 2000s, the most popular type of condenser for vehicles that use R134A has been the parallel flow condenser because it's by far the most efficient condenser for this type of refrigerant. Its multi-channel construction allows the refrigerant to make multiple passes through the condenser, which provides maximum heat transfer. Also, the smaller tubes and wide surface area allow the maximum amount of refrigerant to come in contact with air flowing through the condenser fins. Unfortunately, the characteristics that make the parallel flow condenser so efficient are one of its major drawbacks as well. The tubes that efficiently transfer heat are so small that they trap any contamination in the system that tries to pass through them. What that means for your customers is that flushing the AC systems won't remove the contamination from the condenser. These particles will create a restriction in the condenser and make the high side pressures go up, forcing the compressor to work harder and possibly fail. It's also possible that the contamination in the condenser can work itself free and end up at the compressor, where it also will cause a failure. Here's the bottom line. If your customer's AC system has a parallel flow condenser and there's a situation where they need to flush the system, it's strongly recommended that they replace the condenser. That's because a parallel flow condenser cannot be flushed only replaced. Since flushing the system is always recommended when replacing a failed compressor, if your customer needs a new compressor, odds are they'll need a new condenser too. I'm Josh Cable. Thanks for watching.